Let's talk about the thing everyone wants to hear about. And that, of course, is Brian's favorite topic. Beep, 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 beep. Our Alaskan cruise coming up in April in a mere 10 months from now. Um, that's right, folks. We're going to talk about the Alaska cruise for the remainder of this show. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I, wa- I want to say, uh, just to kind of preface, because we haven't talked about it in a little while, we are going on a cruise. This is the Fat and Black Connection hosted cruise. Um, we've got about 50 people on this cruise so far. Uh, there are huge discounts and benefits for joining our group. Um, right now, the cheapest room available is $599. That's for a seven-day cruise, um, and and some of the perks and benefits that come along with that are is the drink package that's included, some some food comps to eat at the the higher end restaurants, um, and as you can see right now, they're offering uh, free airfare for your second guests. So if it's you and somebody else, you, you take that thirty five percent off, split that cost. Uh, it's it's great, um, yeah. and if you don't care where you're staying, six hundred bucks for seven nights. Yeah, that's cheaper than a hotel, my friend. Especially if they're if you're paying half your price for you're only paying half the price for your airfare. Yeah. I mean, that's you know if you're okay with being in an inside room, yep. why not? You know what I yep. mean. But it's an Alaskan cruise. It's April fifteenth to the twenty second. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. If you are interested, let us know. Hit us up on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, whatever, and we will you uh, send it. you the link. Yeah, yeah, to get you all the contact information for our personal cruise consultant, Terry, who has been amazing. Um, so the, the cruise does uh, leave out of Seattle, Washington. Uh, there's a day at sea. Then we go to Juneau, Alaska. Then we go to Skagway. Then we cruise around Glacier Bay for a day, head up to Ketchikan, then into Victoria, British Columbia, and back to Seattle. Uh, it's it's going to be a fun. I plan to be perpetually buzzed the entire time. Um, yes. And and just really briefly, the pricing. So we talked about that $5.99 for the inside rooms, $9.99 for an ocean view, $11.99 for a balcony. That's amazing to me. Yeah, uh, that price came down, that's for sure. $14.42 for a spa suite, uh, $13.49 for a club balcony suite, and the Haven, which is where I'll be hanging out, uh, starting at $35.09. Um, Wait, you so- went back to that? I did. I, oh. I I went back to the Haven. So okay, yeah, because uh, I know you said you like a like when we talked the last time about it, you were like you you would you you'd step down to a spa room or something like that. I, we did. Uh, so we are staying in a spa room. There is a spa Haven room. Okay. And so we are we are going to be doing that. So we're going to get all the perks and benefits of uh, staying in the in the Haven and have access to all of the Haven amenities okay. uh, while playing while paying a really low price to have all of that. Uh, and so if you're interested to find out what the Haven really is, I'm just going to put it to you like this first class. Yeah. Like you've got your own private restaurant. They'll bring the food to your room. You've got a personal Butler. Um, it's yeah. Is that all the Haven suites? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize it was all of them. I thought yeah. It was- it is the creme de la creme, if you will. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to that experience um, and and enjoying the Atlantis Spa Thermal Suite. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have some fun on this cruise. We've got, like I said, oh, yeah. about 50 people, uh, many people who enjoy this show and comment here. Hopefully El Jefe will join us. I still keep trying to convince Brian I should just give up. Um, his girlfriend's not yeah. going to let him. <laughs> Just knock her out, bring her along. It'll be fun. Right? It will be fun. Uh, we do have Kel D uh, out there checking in today. Um, you know, I, I, I hope you're interested in the cruise. So uh, let's talk about some shore excursions. Uh, we've talked about these before for some of the other yeah. ports. But let's talk about Kitchikan, which we haven't talked about yet. Now let's, yet. let's do a deep dive on shore excursions for Kitchikan. No, 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 no. Dive, dive. So, of course, I have these sorted by most expensive to cheapest. Uh, and I, for the times that we're there, right? Yes. So okay. we're only in Ketchikan for about six hours. Yeah. So I sorted this to only show items that are up to five hours. Okay. 
So first up is the chauffeur chauffeur driven Hummer tour of Ketchikan. Another uh, um, one. Yeah, it's another one. It's four hour tour. The price is per vehicle. Um, and so you don't get to drive the Hummer. You're driven around. Oh. Uh, and, and so it's nine hundred bucks. But you think about it, if you put four people in that Hummer, yeah, and so you split that nine hundred four ways. It's still expensive. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, but, but I mean, like, I don't even get to drive the dang thing. So, I mean, it's like, yeah. Yeah. You don't, you don't get to drive and there doesn't seem to be really any food involved, which is what I care about. So. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Uh, next up is the George Inlet Fjord Safari Craft Beers and Dungeness Crab Meal. Yo. I, I know you're interested in this. So. <laughs> Let's let's just hit the highlights. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So this is All a right. four, this is a four and a half hour excursion where you drive a utility task vehicle off road through densely forested, forested mountainous terrain, cruise past the gorgeous Mahoney Glacier Cirque in an enclosed catamaran, and feast on Dungeness crab and local craft beers at a historic George Inlet Lodge. How much is that? $400. Oh, that's, that's not horrible. So remember, we talked about before how you wanted, you want to kind of do one of those, you know, UTV drives, drives and stuff. Yeah. This to me combines. This is the one I think you're probably going to want to land on because you're getting that crab feast. You're getting to go on a catamaran and you're getting to drive around in a UTV. So I think this, this is really. That, that might be the one, one where you blow your load and say, okay, I'm going to drop the 400, which yeah. you're, you're getting that $50 shore excursion credit. So right. 350 out of pocket. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, I think it's one of those things where it's like, yeah. And um, plus I, I, I mean, I'm down with, I'm, I'm down with the crab. I'm definitely down with the, uh, I'm definitely down with the, uh, the uh, craft beers. El Jefe, unfortunately, I can't even read that comment, but Yo. I get it. <laughs> Yo. That that's yeah, I get it. Yo. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Ketchikan's Best by Land and Sea. Um, you know, again, this one, just looking at it kind of briefly, uh, you can sip on some locally craft beers, have some smoked. Salmon, roe, halibut, oysters, and crabs serve two ways. Mm. Uh, so there's some food in this one. You get to to go around. They they take you on a tour. Uh, this is a four hour for three hundred bucks. So a hundred dollars cheaper, but you're not getting to to drive yourself around in that UTV. Yeah. Uh, next up, we've got the wildlife safari and beach bonfire. Four and a half hours. Um, Beach bonfire. <laughs> this wildfire, this wildlife safari includes a stop on secluded Annette Island for a classin, classic Alaskan meal of reindeer, sausage, hot dogs, kettle chip, and salmon berry jam. Salmon berry jam, huh? I don't know how I feel about that. Is that like row? Is that what they mean when they say salmon berry? No, I'm probably sure it's just like it's probably some kind of berry that maybe have the same color or something as salmon, so they call it salmon berries or something. I don't know. All right. Next up, we've got the Bering Sea Crab Fisherman's Tour. Uh, so uh, let's let's just read this one really quickly. Join an adventure of a lifetime aboard the Aleutian Ballad as seen on Discovery Channel's The Deadliest Catch. Your experience begins with a short walk along the fishing pier of Ketchikan, a historic fishing port and gateway to Alaska. On board, you'll find comfortable, heated theater-style seating and modern amenities. As you head out on the clam waters of the Inside Passage, your seasoned crew will begin fishing and you'll be up close to all the action. Crabs, octopus, eels, sharks, rockfish, and prawns are all a possibility as the crew demonstrates their expertise. Uh, so again, no food involved here. Uh, you're basically... And, you, and, and you're putting your life in danger? <laughs> you're basically paying 270 bucks to say you were on one of the ships on Deadliest Catch. Okay, uh, real quick. Um, salmon berry is actually a real berry. Um, 
native to the west coast of North America, uh, western uh, from of from western central Alaska to California, uh, and inland as far as Idaho. Yeah, this is not doesn't tell me a whole lot, but it's just basically it's a pinkish, uh, looks like a pinkish kind of raspberry type deal. So, okay, yeah. Uh, next up, we've got the Adventure Card Expedition. This is your standard driving around in a UTV, ATV. Uh, 270 bucks, but other than that, nothing too special. Uh, three hours. I still think that other one's the way to go. Uh, you've got a Black Bear and Wildlife Exploration. I know uh, Tyrus is out on that one. Yeah, Tyrus, Tyrus would not be interested in seeing any Black Bears. <laughs> It's a three and a half, two hundred and seventy dollar uh, exploration walk through the historic Herring Bay Lumber Company sawmill, established by legendary pioneer Ben Flurnor. See birds of prey up close at Alaska Raptor Center, and uh, yeah, can't say I'm too hyped on that one. Yeah, Alaska Culture Experience. Nope. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'll give you the highlights. Uh, learn about the First Nations cultures at a replica, replica 19th century village. Gain insight into the symbols of animals that adorn the village's many totem poles. Follow indigenous guides along a trail at Connell Lake and hear how they use medicinal plants. Smoke the chronic. Um, snack. Snack on locally harvested foods that may include may include salmon and wild berries. Salmon berries and wild berries, or is it salmon and? It wild says berries? salmon and wild berries. Hmm. All right, well, we'll that's see. where they get you. You thinking you might get some salmon? Nope. Salmon nope. berries. Salmon berries. <laughs> gotcha. Next up, we've got a wildlife cruise, oyster farm, and tasting. Hmm. Um, I enjoy an oyster once in a while, but I don't I, know if I'd want to do a whole. I mean, uh, we did a tasting at this place called King's King's Fish House or whatever out here, and it's it's pretty good. But yeah, I don't know if it's like. Eh. I just don't know if I'd want to spend you know three hours uh, for two hundred fifty bucks at an oyster farm. Yeah. Yeah. No. I. Yeah. Ooh, wee. Oh, that's fun. Next up, we've got Nudson Cove salmon sports fishing. Is this when you need a license? To... So the highlights are fish for hard fighting, highly prized salmon. Enjoy a stunning, stunningly beautiful nature, natural backdrop and ship your catch home if you wish. Um, so it's 250 bucks. You will need to bring cash of $15 for a license and also another $15 for a King salmon ca uh, tag. And of course that does not include if you do ship your, sure. uh, if you catch any, if you can, yeah, it's also, if you catch any, yeah, I, I could totally see doing something like this. Uh, if it was a guarantee type deal. Well, not only that, maybe if it was like my second or third time going on this cruise, and like I could say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this now because I've done some of the other really cool stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like so, like a you're you're a repeat. Yeah, you've done it. You've done a couple of the other things. You're like, you know what? This would be fun. I, yeah. I'm down to do this. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it makes sense. Now this next one seems super cool. This would probably be around my number two right as of right now. This is a hovercraft eco adventure and wildlife viewing. It's quick though. It's an hour and a half for 240 bucks. Uh, get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Your exclusive tour will start immediately at the cruise ship dock. There you will board a black bo blackbird hovercraft and enjoy a narrated tour en route to a local beach. As you fly 20 inches over the water, your, your tour guide will describe the operations of the air cushion vehicle and what makes a hovercraft eco-friendly. Don't care. The pilot will take you over <laughs> gentle waves and along the jagged shoreline before flying your aircraft from the water to the beach. Make sure you have your camera ready as the hovercraft transitions from sea to land. Pulling up onto the shore will be the ultimate display of what makes a hovercraft such a unique vessel. 
Once ashore, guests will have the opportunity to step out onto the remote beach and walk around the beautiful shoreline while taking in the breathtaking scenery. It's it's quick, it's short, it's sweet. Um, I've always wanted to go on a hovercraft, yeah. but not this time. <laughs> no. This is one that might interest you. How much? You, how much? How much was that one though? Two forty. Oh yeah, definitely not for an hour. Hour and a half. Yeah. So this next one might interest you because you mentioned you do want to do some zip lining. This is a rainforest zip sky bridge and rappel adventure. Okay. It's four hours. This is an activity level three. Bear in mind, there's levels one, two, and three. Three means you're going to be working. So, uh, yeah. It, now, there is an all-terrain custom 4x4 Unimog that will transport you up a steep rainforest hillside. Uh, and you're going to get to do, uh, let's see, your Rainforest Canopy Challenge features a flight over seven zip lines. Your guide will progressively ease you into the forest canopy along cables ranging from a short 100 feet to the 750 foot pulse pounding Ooh. Ben's Revenge. Yes. So uh that you know again for me uh, maybe uh zip lining i don't know i feel like it's cool the 30 seconds or so you're doing it but the amount of time this is a four hour uh duration of that four hours you're zip lining for maybe a combined total of five minutes yo i, I just like zip lining it's fun uh, have you have you so you live in vegas have you done the zip line down Fremont Street? Yeah. And that's, you enjoy that? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay. Never done it. Uh, I don't know. Godzilla, just... baby. <laughs> there's the other one I want to do. Um, they have one, apparently there's one at the Rio. I haven't actually seen that one go. And then there's the one um, over at the, I think it's the Lynx. Uh, the Link that has, um, that goes like the backside towards the, um, uh, the big ferris wheel the eye well yeah this one's um the roulette or something like that or something like that i think you call it okay so the next one might also interest you eagles raptors and rainforest experience it's a three oh. and a half hour 240 dollar uh excursion um where your your walk is going to lead into a 1500 square foot auditorium flight auditorium during a 30 minute narrated presentation a handler from the alaska raptor center will describe the unique physical and behavioral adaptions of the birds while showcasing their natural abilities so they'll be flying around you that's cool wilderness exploration and crab feast four hours 230 bucks um you get to put around on a, on a little boat, see some scenic waterfalls. Um, and then uh, here's where it gets good, James. Return to the lodge to enjoy a tasty Dungeness crab feast. Be sure to save room for some blueberry cheesecake. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some <laughs> you, you know, here's what's frustrating about a lot of these. They talk about these crab feasts, and it's yeah. always Dungeness. I want some freaking king, cr king crab legs. Like if, if any of these said it's King crab, that's the one I'm doing. Like, I don't care. Like I Dungeon will draw... crab is, I guess, easier. <laughs> it's cheaper, but it's a pain in the butt to, well, I mean, hopefully it's, if it's already pulled, that'd be nice. But this one is interesting. Um, yeah, I saw, I saw food there and I was like, yo, what's that one? <laughs> yeah. So this, this one is absolutely interesting. I'm going to read this one in, in its entirety. Okay. Lum Lumberjack show and crab feast. Lumberjack show. Now this one is four and three quarters hours. Okay. Taste and experience what makes Alaska such an awesome place to visit on this Alaskan style crab cracking and lumberjacking tour. <laughs> Enjoy one hour of Alaskan lumberjacks battling it out, chopping, sawing, tri tree climbing, axe throwing, history, and much more. Meet the jacks after the show for pictures, and then loosen your belt and grab your camera as you sightsee your way to the rustic yet elegant George Inlet Lodge for an all-you-can-eat crab feast. Yo, that sounds dope. I'm not going to lie. 
Yeah, that, that, you know, to me, obviously getting that crab feast on that first one we talked about earlier on is still going to probably be at the top of my list. This one's probably close number two. Yo, like I, I've watched the, I've seen like some of those lumberjack competitions on, on TV. Mm -hmm. Those guys go hard, bro. They go yeah. hard. So yeah, so, yeah. And that one's 230. Okay. Next up, we've got Alaskan Lodge Adventure and Sea Feast. Sea Feast. Um, Finish off your. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight to the food. Yeah, uh, yeah. Finish off your tour with a delectable seafood boil meal: crab, shrimp, clams, mussels, potatoes, onions, garlic, corn, and sausage, all cooked in one delicious pot. So kind of like we've oh, done yeah. in the past yeah. at like backdoor barbecue or backdoor backyard. bayou. Yeah, backyard bayou or whatever that. Was. Back backdoor, backdoor, backdor backdoor bayou. bayou. Oh, okay. I decided. Uh, <laughs> Next up, we've got the Go Local Ketchikan Native Tingit Walking Tour. Nope, no, thank nope. you. Don't don't even uh, it says walking. No. Yeah, no, I'm out. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Backcountry Jeep and Canoe Safari. It sounds like I have to actually do some paddling. I'm off. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you get to go around in a jeep and then paddle. Uh, no, thanks. No. Oh, here's another one for you. Aerial zip and rappel course. So How it's long only, is that one. So this is a four hour. Uh, this is a level three. And uh, experience an exhilarating eco rainforest adventure featuring seven zip lines, nine tree platforms, and two repelling elements. Your adventure begins with an eight mile coastal drive from Kitchikan to the Herring Cove Rainforest Reserve. Enjoy the ride up the steep hillside in a four by four Unamog to the outfitting shelter. So it sounds very similar to the other one, except you get to do two repels. Yeah. How about this one? Line, if they had a zip line with food, I'd be. <laughs> Well, how about this one? Rainforest Ropes and Challenge Park. Uh, this, this one's three and a half hours at 2.09. Uh, on this one, oh, hold up. Let, let's read this one really quickly. Yeah. Board your motor coach for a scenic 25-minute drive to Knudsen Cove, a private waterfront estate in the Tongass National Forest. Upon arrival, guides will instruct and outfit you with safety equipment in an open-air forest pavilion. Your adventure begins as you ascend into the trees and gravity pulls you along zip, the zip lines. Nestled on a platform in the park, Keep an eye out for eagles and ocean views. You can take an optional challenge route that leads you across swinging logs and rope bridges. Oh. Feel the speed and acceleration of the ocean zip where you'll land above the water on a freestanding platform. Then take the final zip to the tap room deck where you can have a free Alaskan brewed beer if you're 21 or older. <laughs> now this next line this next line is ridiculous if you choose to skip the tap room take the utv up the hill to the 50 foot climbing tower where guides will show you techniques to climb to the top and safely auto belay to the ground i'm sorry wait so you want me to skip beer and go to a wall where i have to climb it yes nah i'm cool give me the beer so you want that free beer for 209 bucks well I mean, also the zip lines that uh, if I can go the, over the ocean, that's dope too. I ain't mind. I won't mind that at all. That's kind of cool. All right. Next up is the Tatoosh Island Sea Kayak. Nope. All right. Next, <laughs> next up is the Sea Cycle Ocean Adventure. This is a level three. Some of the highlights: pedal a two-person sea cycle boat around the estuary at Ward Cove nope. and along the sea. Take in the natural beauty of the Tongass. You don't know, don't even no, want to because Pat, those those things scare me. All right. How about a self-drive zodiac adventure? This is a level hmm. two. Okay. Skirt along the spectacularly scenic shoreline of Tongas Na Narrows in a Zodiac boat. Captain the Zodiac, be one of the three passengers, or switch positions if you like. Giggity. Look for wildlife that includes orcas, humpbacks, whales, and bald eagles. Learn about the indigenous Tingit 
and Haida people and how they lived in the 19th century. Oh, okay. No food. Uh, yeah. right, how about a rainforest island adventure? So three and a half hours. Um, you, you could see some sea lions, harbor seals, bald eagles. Um, What's the high? Is that the highlights? No, there's What's no the highlights. There aren't any on this one. Oh, okay. And, there, and there's no food. No, I wasn't worried about that. I was just kind of see what the highlights were. If you just want to go see the lumberjacks and learn about the Alaskan culture, uh, you you could just do this one for one hundred and eighty nine dollars and three and a half hours. You can watch lumberjacks go head to head in competition, delve into the indigenous Tlingit culture. Wait, um, minus the food. Hold on, sample traditional Alaskan dishes after watching a chef prepare them. Yeah. And ride the funicular back to Ketchikan or take the trolley if you prefer. What is a funicular? I have is, no idea. Yeah. Now that I'm, sounds scary. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't sound that scary. It just sounds weird. It sounds like a giant slide. If it was a right. giant slide, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> All right. How, how about this one? Rainforest, e bike, and nature walk. This is a level three. Uh, e bike and nature walk? Yes. Mm. Pedal an electric enhanced bicycle to and from Connell Lake, a round trip of about six miles. Gain a historical perspective of the man-made lake, which once powered the Kitchikan pulp mill, and learn about the indigenous flora and fauna from a naturalist guide. Uh, it does sound horrible. I mean, like the e-bikes are actually a little easier because you just start, start pedaling and then the, the little motor takes over, but... But yeah, no, I mean, eh, that could be interesting. Like if you're one of those people that likes to, likes to know about flowers, if you're, you know, one of those kind of people. Sure, let's go with that. Rainforest Sanctuary and Lumberjack Show. This is a level one, four hours. Um, does not appear to be any food involved. You just get to kind of walk around a sanctuary and a rainforest sanctuary and watch a lumberjack do his thing. Nah. Uh, totem. Too many, too many other lumberjack things. <laughs> right totem bite state park and canoe adventure mm, no. you'll you'll get an alaskan snack of smoked salmon mm, no for 180 dollars. yeah but that means i have to actually do work myself like pat i mean like there's some stuff that i'm like okay i'd actually work for that but yeah no canoeing is not one of those things i'm like yeah i gotta do this how about eagle island sea kayak you feel like doing some kayaking? Definitely not. Oh, okay. Uh, lighthouse totems and eagles excursion. Enjoy the heated main cabin or outdoor observation decks. You'll cruise out of Ward Cove on your way to the Guard Island Lighthouse, established in 1901. No other excursion offers this itinerary, nor offers a view of Totem Bite State Park. You'll be treated to a panoramic view of 14 towering, hand-carved Tinglet and Haida totem poles and the Alaska Native Clan House at Totem Bight State Park. Your captain will share the navigational intrigue around Alaska's Danger Island, and you'll circumnavigate or have a clear view of a total of 12 islands on your tour route. Many of these islands are inhabited only by Alaskan wildlife. Hmm. And you'll get to enjoy complimentary hot chocolate, coffee, tea, water, or soft drinks, as well as tasting of Alaskan delicacies, including signature smoked salmon dip. Uh, how much is that one? 160 That actually doesn't sound... Abs I mean, like, from a picture-taking standpoint... That sounds like it'd be pretty dope for taking pictures and you get a little snacky snack. That's all good too. Fair enough. Rainforest canoe and nature trail. So you get to canoe a bit and then walk a bit. Nope. How about some world famous George Inlet Lodge crab feast? So this is just the crab feast. Three oh, hours. Eating skip some the crab. Food. Skip the food. Skip all the lumberjack stuff. Yep. 150 bucks. <laughs> I'm black. I mean, back. <laughs> Tyrus, welcome back, man. Danger Island means bears and moose. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> uh, 
and Tyrus is saying, looks like they dropped their prices. I don't know. I, I have no point of reference. I've yeah. never done the excursions before. So uh, next up is the Saxman Native Village and Lumberjack Show. Um, uh, and Tyrus is all about that crab, as am I, as am I. Uh, I do prefer, again, not Dungeness, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, El Jefe dropping in uh, some interesting stuff there. I choose the undercooked crab feast on Danger Island. Bring your own toilet paper. Mm, toilet pepper yeah you never know when you're gonna have the runs yeah uh saxman native village and lumberjack show kind of some more of the same see some yeah. totem poles watch some lumberjacks um talbot lake rainforest hike this is a level three hike three miles round trip through tongas national forest no moving on yeah Connell Lake Kayak, a level three. You feel like doing some kayaking? No, again, absolutely not. Uh, man, they are really big in the lumberjacks here in Ketchikan. Totem yeah. Bite State Park and Lumberjack Show, combining two of those things we've already I, talked about. I have a feeling, like I have a feeling that this is just one lumberjack show, and like everybody comes to the same lumberjack show. Agreed. I I think <laughs> maybe they do it like two or three times a day, but yeah, yeah. But like everybody comes to that same show, and then. Yeah. Oh wait, is that a is that a hold on? We're not there yet. Oh. Next up is the Rainforest Wildlife Sanctuary Eagles and Totems. Um, so again, combining a bunch of things we've already talked about. The Eagles and Sea Totems. Okay. Now let's talk about what you want to talk about. Catch yeah. can duck, duck tour. So obviously, this is the duck boat. For those of you that don't know, these are these very large vehicles that hold dozens of people at once that have the ability to go out on water. Yeah. They drive you so I, I don't even need to read what it says here. I I can just surmise that likely it's gonna say it drives you around catch a can, shows you the highlights of the town, and then you go out on the water and drive around in the area for a while. Yeah. Those are fun. Oh, and I haven't been on one, but I I I, I think that might be fun. All right. Thanks for checking in, El Jefe. We'll talk All to right, you soon. Man. Uh, next up is the Saxman Native Village. Again, this is a uh, native uh, ting, Tlingit village, uh, likely reconstructed from, from the past. Uh, 110 bucks. Alaskan Lumberjack and Axe Throw Challenge. Cheer on the mighty competitors in the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show. Watch Lumberjacks go head to head oh. and get in the competitive spirit by participating in an axe throwing contest. Oh. Oh, I get to actually play? Yeah, 100 bucks. Oh. Here's a good <clears> one. <throat> How about a catch a can pub crawl? Oh, oh. Two hours. Talk to me. So uh, this is uh, really, uh, I'm just going to read it. Want to learn about a place? Drink with the locals. This yes. fun, informative, and entertaining 90-minute walking tour is sure to please anyone who wishes to get off the beaten path and immerse themselves in the culture of Alaska's first city. Ketchikan is famous for doing business at the bar, and you'll learn why as you hear infamous stories of days gone by. The Prohibition era and the Red Light District was in full swing and the colorful history of Ketchikan's most popular hotspots. Okay. Tyrus is all about that axe throwing. Uh, we've got uh, Totem Blight Park again, two hours, 90 bucks. Uh, Kitch can highlights by trolley. So, you know, hop on a little putt putt and drive around town, check it out. Uh, and finally, just purely the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show, $80. <laughs> And, and I tend to agree with Tyrus. A pub crawl sounds fun, but why pay for booze when it's free on the ship? I mean, the same could be said about why pay for a crab feast when it, the food's free on the ship. But it's a crab feast in some random place, and you get to watch Lumberjacks do a show. which is And drive around in a UTV. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I think so that that was the last one for for Ketchikan. Um I think for me, uh, I'm still going all the way back up to the top. That expensive uh, $400 George Inlet Fjord Safari craft beers and Dungeness crab meal. That does sound pretty good, man. 
yeah, I think, you know, getting to, to drive around in a UTV, um, then uh, have some food and have some crab and some beer. That sounds like a blast. So uh, Man, can- we, gone, we did over an hour and a half today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do it once in a while. We go Every hard sometimes. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm excited for this cruise. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we've only got one more port to talk about, and that'll be on the next go round when we do one of these again. And that'll be uh, Victoria, <laughs> British Columbia. And Tyrus, Tyrus says, I've been on a duck boat before. It's pretty cool, but it's just, it's really just an extremely slow moving boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, probably. Kind of like a cruise ship, right? Yeah, so uh, that one that one's got a lot of stuff to do on it. With that, I think it's time to uh, wrap this thing up. Put a nice bow on it. Yes, it's been real. It's been fun. And you know what? I think I can say this for once. It hasn't been real fun. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, guys. Till next week. We'll see you.